Greetings! Today, I decided to show you something interesting and something most people don't remember or might see remember but forgot about it. And yeah, I know I, sh yeah, I look like an old person, that's because I left what well, might be a front half of month for a couple of weeks now since the last video that I made. <laughs> okay, anyways, back up. Today I'm going to review something really fascinating for most people and for those who doesn't know it. It is from the Konami. Not the new Konami which everyone loves to hate nowadays, but this is the old Konami. I'm going to review this gem right here. Axel. So why I'm going to review this game in particular? I found a really fascinating story about this particular game right here. Just look at it. As you can see, it's pretty unique that Konami, in fact Konami made a lot of shooter maps, or shooters in this case. Since I'm not really like a ton of maps, which sounds really well, right from the roll of your tongue, so I so much prefer shooters, vertical or horizontal shooters, much easier for, for the people who didn't know about the genre, of course. Well, actually, it's a hybrid. It's horizontal shooter and vertical shooter. It's a mix. It's a hybrid. So, in this particular game, you, you play as this chip right here, the Axelay. Model number D161. I put the model in the, in, the, in the camera. I'm in front of the screen, so for those who are curious. Play as a pilot who escaped from the planet called Mother. Yes, the planet is called Mother. Not Mother from Earthbound, not that, that particular game. It's Mother, the planet of this game. Well, you escape from that planet, go to the solar system to find help. To defeat a mysterious alien form who attacked your, your home planet. As a result, you fly the accident to defeat the strange alien form. We don't know what it is, just use your imagination in this case. So, this game really, really, really submitted it. I gotta be honest, as a kid, I see my friends that own this particular game, and it was amazing, sincerely, because I always dreamed to get this game. I always, it's in this game, the music cemented it in my mind. When I listened, I always got in. In all, because it's just that amazing the music. By the way, the mute, the composer. It's called. His name is. I don't know the name, the name, but I know one particular note. The composer. Its name is Taru. Yes, Taru. I'll put the name. His name in in, in the screen. Well, prior to this game, he composed Castlevania, Super Castlevania Four in this case. But this is the game that cemented his music, this, this right here. Also, being this, as you can see in the label, it says Konami. This game was developed by the team who formed Treasure. Yes, Treasure. The guys behind Gunstar Heroes and so many amazing Sega Genesis and the Sun games. They're super rare these days. So this is the last game they because they used to work at Konami prior to them, but this is the last game they made before they left. I'll put the name of the developers who made this game become the founders of Treasure and made Gunstar Heroes in this case. So it was really amazed that the creator of Gunstar Hero made this game, which is crazy to me. So in this this game is quite short, it only has 6 levels, each different from the last. The first one is the beginning, the third one was a spaceship, the third one was like a city, the fourth one was not inside of the cave, which was amazing, sincerely. The fourth was like a, like a plant with, like a sun of course, it's lava, fire crystal, and there, and the boss, you see in the level, that's the boss from the fifth level, the lava stage. And the last day, which is the, the last stage. Obviously, it's very short, but it's quite amazing to begin. It's just enjoyable. 
in fact, more enjoyable than Gradius 3. In fact, I actually play more this game than Gradius 3. Don't get me wrong, Gradius 3 is awesome, it's from the Super Nintendo. But the reason this game I enjoy the most is because it's a lot easier than Gradius 3. Gradius 3 is a lot more difficult. This one is a lot easy, but it doesn't mean it's not easy though. It's still hard, but it's, en but it's enjoyable. Just popped it in, in my SSNES Studio and pick up and play. Now, when you finish this game, there's a warning called See You in XLA 2, which never happened. After this game finished, it was done. It was the only game released from this from this particular game. It was this this is the exclusive title for the Super Nintendo. It was never released outside of the console. Only the Super Nintendo. Luckily you can play this game on the Virtual Console on the Wii and Wii U, so you can play out there as a result. So I'm gonna put this game on my Junior and show you how the gameplay on action and see what it is. And in the end, I'll explain a little bit. So let's get started.
video. And sorry that I put it on easy because I know no one will put on normal or hard. Because of the review, I put it on easy to show exactly the levels that you can get. Soon, I'll make a gameplay of this game on the channel since I already show footage of this game in my previous videos, but they're short and it's just a brief mention of the game. But this time, I'm gonna mention all the game plus the gameplay. The gameplay is gonna be after of the of the makeup of this video. So as a result, you will see a, le a left play of this game, of course. It's gonna be casual, of course, not nothing fancy, of course. So do I recommend this game? Certainly, absolutely, my friend. It is an amazing game. It is very, it's very sad that Konami never looked back at this game. It just simply it goes to the back burner of his catalog. Typical in companies, they only left the new RPs never to be used again. Kind of the same thing with Bucky O'Hare. It was just that amazing that never utilized again. Or maybe it's for licensing issues. So now for that. So yeah, I recommend to pick up this game again if you don't have the original cartridge, which is. I heard people that said that this card is expensive. Well, I'm gonna tell right now, this game is not as expensive if it was. Usually it costs like 40 or 50 dollars, usually card loose. Always buy, however, if you wanted a full card experience, that costs more, of course. But if you don't have the cartridge like I'm holding right now, you can play on the Wii Virtual Console or the Wii U Virtual Console. You can play either of those. No, unfortunately, this game is not available on the Nintendo Switch SSNES online service. It's not there yet, there yet. So as a result, either the Wii or the Wii U can help. Or use an emulation, of course, like I mentioned. The emulation is there if you desire. So if you, as a result, if you find this game on a friend store or, or a game store or something, if you find this game, don't hesitate and pick it up because it's just an amazing title. So as a result, I recommend it quite heavily. Quite, quite highly in this game. So, so. so, anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll continue next time. Speaking of the game, I'm going to review, I'm going to review finally, finally, I'm going to review a game that I promised over and over and over. That game is, let me show it. Chan, 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 finally. I'm going to review Donkey Kong 2. The previous one that I made, I mentioned before that, and I mentioned in the video SSNES that my original card broke. Well, I got another one. Finally, finally I can review this game properly without any problems. As a result, it's time to review Donkey Kong 2. But that will be for another episode entirely, but it will coming up. So, anyways. Take care guys and have a good day my friends, take care.